Time behind his own zone, he's being chased by Swift. Gets it over to Sheehan. Sheehan chips it up front. And as they go in after it, Andy Sturtz is in there fighting for it in back of the net. He's got Kyle Woodhouse with him. Puck's chipped out into the center ice area and fired back in again. McEachern and Broderick now on defense for St. Catharines. Brantford, Quilty, he chips it up and they'll head off for a change. We played just over a minute here in the first period of play, still no score. Buck into St. Catherine's own, shot in on goal. Pope makes the save, it goes steered behind the net. Gallucci chip it in. They fight for it along the boards. Plays in the corner, Rutland fighting for it. He's got Norrie with him. Norrie has it now, takes it out to the top of the circle. He slides it in back, tries to hit Rutland, but St. Catharines intercepts. Johnson Andrews chases Gallucci. Pucks in the neutralized zone where it's fired in by Matt Mello. Luke Carum chases his man. Now Gallucci has it. Gallucci to Armstrong. Gallucci has it again, takes it back behind his own net. They fight for it in back. And Ben Dubois. Longland now. Longland fires it in deep. It goes back at the Bradford goal. Where Hovanishian chases it, but it's brought out again. Now Armstrong has it. Armstrong for Bradford. He shoots it. Pope. Easy glove save, and he just leaves it there for the defense. And they fire it out. Pucks intercepted by Lazarus. They have it in back of the goal. And now Hovanishian, he's hit by his man, then Ben Dubois takes his man into the boards. Apio now going after it. Curtis Longland tips it up to the blue line. It's held in Apio. Whoa! Apio bounced one in the goal, and Pope looked a little uncomfortable handling that one, but they, nevertheless, St. Catharines gets it out to the neutral ice area where Dubois fires it into the Bradford zone. Taken over now by Walker. 
Walker, he has it stripped of the puck, and it's just shot out the center by St. Catharines, where Blunt has it in the zone end. Blunt chips it into the neutral zone, it goes into the St. Catharines end, where it's fired right back out again. Oh! Spencer the Wolf just got flattened by number five, Ryan Blunt. We'll have a face-off in the neutral zone area. Man, just so outside the St. Catharines. Jesse Miller facing up with Mitch Saturday Brown. Spring Sizzler, Brown has Quig and Mitten with him. Prince and Blunt on the bench. Blunt goes back. Now Jesse Miller has it. Miller works his way to center, stripped to the puck. Mitten chipped it into the St. Catherine zone where the defense takes over. They get it out to Jacobs Chuck. He chips it into the Bradford end. Now Miller goes after it. Miller has it down low. He slides it in front, trying to hit Jacobs Chuck. Jacobs Chuck now behind the goal to Miller. Miller fighting for it back there. It's held in at the defense by Sheehan. Sheehan back into DeWolf. DeWolf fighting for it behind the goal and it's taken away by Blunt. Blunt now, he chips it out to Craig, who puts it into the St. Catharines bench. We'll have a face off in the Brantford zone. Brantford made a change of goaltenders for tonight. Number 33, Talon Dorazio, is getting the start for the Golden Eagles. Face off deep in the Bradford end. They fight for it, and Swift has it. Swift chips it out to center, where it's fired right back in again by Sheehan. Puck's held behind the goal. It goes off the boards and go all the way down to Brad Pope in the St. Catharines end. Now Jimmy Sheehan has it behind the goal. They're coming out with it. It's chipped off the boards. Aaron Taylor now. Taylor fires it deep into the Bradford zone. Andy Sturt's going after it. Grazio fires it up along the boards. Taylor fires it back in again. Now Sturts. Sturts comes right back. Oh, he tries to wrap around. Bradford now. Coming out of their own end, it's Quilty. He fires it in deep. Garrigo takes over for St. Catherine, chips into the corner. Puck's fired out into the slot, and Andy Sturz just takes it and slides it down to the Bradford end where Walker takes over. Walker slides it out of his own end, gets it up to the blue line to Swift. Swift just misses Hawk. Puck goes all the way down to St. Catherine's end, no icing. And Kelly Broderick has it now. Broderick behind his own goal, waiting for his teammates to get organized. Puck goes back to Broderick. Broderick slides it up. Into the slot, Johnson Andrews just missed getting connected on that one. And Bradford fires the puck back to the point. Now it's Nathan Ferris. Ferris works his way in. Oh, he's jammed in there by the defense as he tried to charge in on goal. Now Matt Mello has it. Mello for the Falcons, he comes out. Pass over to Luke Curran. Curran tries to get back to Mello and the goalie steers it into the corner. Now Johnson Andrews fires one in on goal and it's held there. We'll have a face off to the left of the Bradford goalie. We played 5.46 in the first period. The still no score. Face off will be just to the left of Talon Grassi. Oh, the puck is dropped. And McEachern fires it into the corner. Karam fighting for it in there. He gets it to Johnson Andrews. Johnson Andrews has it. He kicks it back to Karam. And it's taken away behind the net and fired to the boards. And Rutland has it. Rutland over to Mike Webry. Back to the point to Princeton. Princeton fires when it goes off Johnson Andrews' shin pads. Andrews now tries to chip it out. Andrews still with it. Comes over to Blue Line. Nice move at the center right side. He passes it over to Mello. Mello back to Andrews. Sliding in there to break up the play was Matt Crimson. Mello has it now in the corner. He's fighting for it with Crimson. He falls down. Hovenetian in there. Nick Hovenetian has it. Back to Mello. There's a penalty coming to Bradford. We've got a tripping call. So at 6.42 in the first period, we'll have our first power play as Mike Rebery goes off for tripping. So far in these playoffs, the St. Catharines power play has been on fire. From the faceoff now, Puck's chipped back to the defense where Jimmy Sheehan has it at the blue line. Sheehan 
Tries to get it back in, but it's taken by Mitch Brown. He fires it down in the St. Catherine zone. Pope has it behind the net, and Brown gives chase. Johnson Andrews now tips it back behind his own goal to Jimmy Sheehan. St. Catherine's getting organized on the power play. They come out with it now. Ben Dubois has it, he takes it over the blue line. They fight for it, it's fired back out to the center ice area where Jimmy Sheehan takes over. Sheehan at his own blue line. He slides over to Curtis Longland. Longland makes it. Cross ice pass back to the point to Johnson Andrews. Back to Sheehan. Sheehan has it at the point. He slides it down to the top of the circle to Dubois. Dubois, cross ice pass. Oh, they failed to connect. Puck's held it at the point by Sheehan. Sheehan works his way into the center ice area. Oh, the boys go! Sheehan for Dubois, and just like that, the St. Catherine Falcons have scored on the power play. At 7.36 in the first period, Ben Dubois from Sheehan. Well, I did say that the St. Catherine's power power play had been on fire, and they proved just that. It took all of 54 seconds for them to get one by Durazio. The St. Catharines fans are getting excited. Oh, wait a minute, the, the goal was disallowed. The goal has been disallowed. So we'll have a face-off to the left of the goaltender. I stand corrected, the goal did not count. So now behind the goal, Curtis Longland has it. He works it back to Andy Sturtz. Sturtz now fighting for it. He's got Walker fighting with it. Goes back to the point, shot from the point, save. And it goes back just outside the blue line. Johnson Andrews now, he chips it over to Curtis Longland. Longland works his way in, Longland around the circle. Takes it down low, puts it back, and tries to get it back to Sheehan. Sheehan has it now. Sheehan, cut back to Sheehan. They move it back and forth. Goes off a pad, it's held in again by Sheen at the blue line. Down low, Andy Sturz tries to go after it there. And it's taken over by Walker. Walker chips it out over center, down into the St. Catherine zone. With just six seconds left to go in the power play, the score, St. Catherine's nothing and Brantford nothing. Now the puck goes in behind the Brantford end, it's fired in along the boards, where Riley Jacobs Chuck misses it. Kelly Broderick misfires on the shot in. Here goes Brent. Oh! And they score! The Bradford Gold Eagles. There was a delayed penalty on the play, and Bradford draws first blood. So just after St. Catherine's had a goal disallowed, Bradford killed off the rest of the penalty, and now they go ahead one to nothing at 8.56 of the first period. And this goal will stand, so. At 8.56 in the first, the Bradford Golden Eagles take a lead, one to nothing. Now Bradford brings it in, Apio chases after it. It's fired back where Armstrong puts it in behind the goal. Taken there by Brad Cole. Cole coming out of his own end. Cole works his way over center and then backhands it deep into the Bradford zone. Giving chase now, Curtis Longland missed it. Cole keeps it in again. Puck goes behind the goal where Longland falls. Goes up along the boards. Cole pinches in. And now Appio has it. Appio over the blue line, shoots. And Pope the save. Longland fires it off the boards. It's kept in by Rebery. Rebery fires it in just wide. Now Ben Dubois has it, Dubois. Cross ice pass to Longland. Longland loses it, Rebery steals it, and he shoots it wide. Now Walker tried to bring it in, he was stripped to the puck. And we've got it offside as Luke Karam went in just a little too quick. So we'll have a face off just outside the Bradford zone. We played two, 
9.58 in the first period of play. The score, the Bradford Golden Eagles won. The St. Catharines Falcons, no score. From the face out now, Mello wins the draw, gets it back to Derigo. Derigo over to Sheehan. Sheehan chips it out to center. Puck spired back in again, where Sheehan takes over in his own zone. Sheehan takes the puck behind his own goal as they get organized. And coming out with it, Andrews slides it back to Sheehan. Puck is chipped up. And now Rutland has it. Rutland coming in on goal. He makes, oh, he just lost, lost the puck as he tried to make a move around the defense. Now it's up to center. Johnson Andrews has it go off his skates. It's in the Bradford zone. Coming out with it now is Rebri. Rebri just slides it down into the St. Catherine zone and goes off for a change where Sheehan has it behind his own goal. They fight for it in behind the net. Swift is in there with Norrie. Swift and Norrie fighting for it. Jesse Miller gets it back to the point where it's held in by Brantford. They fire it, Blunt fires it back into the corner. And the puck comes out to Mello. Mello up over his own blue line, crosses center, fires it into the Brantford zone, and then wheels off for a change. Miller giving chase in the Brantford zone. Oh! Big hit there, Aaron Taylor on Quilty. Puck's fired in, we'll have a face off in the neutral zone. 8.49 left to play here in the first period. 1 0 Brantford. This is a game that Bradford already knows they've got home ice advantage, but for St. Catharines, a win tonight would guarantee them a place in the Sutherland Cup final against this Bradford Golden Eagle team. Now the puck is in behind the goal. It's brought up by Matt Quilty. Quilty moves it up to Hawk. Hawk fires it in on goal. Pope the same. Swift scores! Oh, what a shot! Number 16, Jeff Swift. Hawk fired one in on goal, and Swift was right there for the rebound. And just like that, it's 2 0 Brantford. From the faceoff now, Jacob Chuck sends it back to the defense. Checked up to Jesse Miller. Miller over the blue line. DeWolf fires it in behind the goal, where Bradford takes over with Walker. Walker loses it to DeWolf. DeWolf and Jacobs check in there. Back to Miller. Miller shoots. And it goes off a stick wide. Puck back to the point where Cole keeps it in. Puck's tipped in there. Oh, Jesse Miller just failed to connect on that one. Miller again, back into the corner. Back out front to Miller, he chips at it. It goes up into the other corner where it comes back to the point. And now Quilty, Quilty makes his way over the blue line. He slides one in and goes wide of the goal where Hawk has it. Hawk's rubbed up, now Gallucci from the point. Gallucci slides it in. They fight for it along the boards. Cody Quick loses that one. Puck shot in on goal, Pope steers it to the corner. Held in by Wilson. Now it's fired up and off the glass. Wilson holds it in one more time. Mitch Brown fighting for it. And it goes back into the corner where Brad Cole takes it and he gets it over to Quick. Cody Quick and Quick fires it all the way down in the Bradford zone. Fired up again by Wilson. Now Brown tries to backhand it. He loses it. Quig has it. Quig to the top of the circle. Quig goes down. And it's Hovanish in to Benoit. Dubois. Curtis Longland misses a chance at it. And Cody Quick has it behind his own goal. Quick now. Quick slides it over to Cole. And the puck's chipped into the Bradford zone as St. Catharines changes the defense. Longland in there after with Hovanish in. But the puck comes all the way out to the center ice line where Derrigo fires it back in again. Appio now coming out with it. He flips it all the way down into St. Catherine's goal. Right to Brad Pope, and Pope will hold it there for a face-off, but Appio right on the doorstep. We got a little bit of pushing and shoving. It doesn't look like it's going to amount to anything. 
We've got 6.14 left to play here in the first period. The Bradford Golden Eagles, two. The St. Catharines Falcons, no score. Looks like Lazarus and Dubois at the face-off circle. Now Armstrong comes in to take it. He loses the face-off to Dubois, but it goes back to the point where Blunt has it. But it goes right off Hovanesian. There's a race for it now, and the goalie just comes out and fires it. St. Catherine's now long and fighting for it along the boards. He had Hovanesian with him, but the puck's chipped out into the neutralized area where Sheehan takes over. Sheehan to Andrew Derrigal. There we go, up to Longland. Longland has it now. Longland over the blue line, shoots. See, another shot on goal. They work it around back to the point to Andrew Derrigo. Derrigo over to Ben Dubois. Dubois loses it and comes up the center where Armstrong just misses breaking in. Sheehan has it. Sheehan. And it's called on the offside with 534 left to go here in the first period of play. Johnson Andrews out to take the face off against Rebry, and Rebry wins that draw. He gets it back to Nathan Ferris. Ferris goes over to Rutland. Rutland loses it now to Mello. And then Rutland gets it again and chips it into the St. Catherine zone where it's fired right back out again. Now Ferris over to Walker, back to Ferris. Ferris comes over to blue line. He's got it, he shoots a high shot, and it goes off Pope's glove where McEachern fires it out over, it goes into the St. Catharines bench, and we'll have a face-off to the left of Brad Pope with 5.04 remaining here in the first period of play. This game is being brought to you by the Greater Ontario Junior Hockey League and Art Pro HD. From the face-off, Nori wins it. He gets it to Rebery. Rebery has it at the top of the face-off circle. He tries to get to the point where it's taken there by Johnson Andrews. Andrews going in all alone. Andrews shoots. Oh, he goes just wide. What a glorious scoring opportunity. Goes just wide of the post. Now the puck's in the center ice area where Rutland kicks it back. Luke Karam's taking it to the boards. It looks like we're going to have a penalty here. We got a checking from behind penalty being called. So that'll be it for tonight for Tyler Nori of the Bradford Golden Eagles as he gets a two minute checking from behind penalty which comes with an automatic game misconduct. So with 4.36 to go, the St. Catharines Falcons will have a chance on the power play to get back into this one. A goal by St. Catharines late in the first period here would give them a little bit of momentum going into the dressing room. So at 15-24, number 22, Tyler Norrie is now gone for the game. Ben Dubois out there to take the face off for the Falcons against Mike Rebry. Dubois has got Andy Sturtz and Curtis Longman with him. Johnson Andrews and Jimmy Sheehan on defense. Crimson and Walker on defense for Brantford. Reverie and Swift up front from the faceoff now. St. Catharines has it. It's Curtis Longman at the top of the circle. Longman has shoots. Save made. Now back to the point to Sheehan. Sheehan back in to Dubois. Dubois back to Sheehan. Sheehan cross ice pass to Johnson Andrews. Andrews fires it down low. They got it at the top of the circle now back to Jimmy Sheehan. Sheehan tries to get over to Andrews and Mike Reverie came ever so close to going it all alone. And he's... Now Andrews has it. Andrews fires it in on the goal. Puck's deflected over top of the goal. And Princeton has it there and he fires it out. And Andrews stops at the center ice zone where it's fired cross ice. 
Sheehan trying to go for it, but now Andy Sturtz has it. Sturtz back at his own blue line. St. Catherine's back there trying to regroup. And now Andrews coming out with it. Andrews over the blue line. He puts it back to Riley Jacobs, Chuck. Jacobs Chuck back to McEachern. McEachern fires it in wide around back of the goal where Andrews has it. Andrews working it around. Comes up, oh, he got it. Riley Jacobs Chuck just misconnected on that pass and now puck goes all the way outside the blue line where they'll have to start all over again. Andrews takes it. He gets it into Luke Karam. Karam, nice move. Oh, what a nice play. And a nicer save. Crimson now. They were to Jacob Chuck in the slot. He shoots another save. Couple big saves by DeRazio. He's getting his first start of the round robin, and it looks like he came to play. St. Catharines now they bring it in. Fighting for is Jacobs Chuck. Along the boards with Blunt, Jacob Chuck has it. Take it over there by Woodhouse. Woodhouse back to the point to McKecker, and he shoots. And Durazio makes the saves. Goes all the way back to the blue line where it's fired back in again by Broderick. They have it behind the net. Oh, and Durazio just comes right out and he just dives on it. We'll have a face off. With 2 left to go. So they've had. St. Catharines with two power plays so far, and nothing to show for it. 2.15 remaining here in the first period. The score of the Brantford Golden Eagles, two. The St. Catharines Falcons, no score. Puck in the Brantford zone, Armstrong now. He puts it back, he's got it along the boards. They fight for it. And Jesse Miller loses it. Armstrong has it now, Armstrong. He just fires it in. Brad Pope steers it into the corner. Armstrong fighting for it again in the corner with Aaron Taylor, and Jesse Miller comes up with it. Miller behind his own goal. St. Catharines now, quick, Cody Quick tried to come out of his own zone, he was blocked. Now they have it, Cole has it behind his own goal. Cole again now. Cole working around behind the net, now he comes out, comes up the middle. Cole over the blue line, Cole over center, and Prinzen has it now for Brantford. He'll go behind his goal and work his way out. Prinzen coming out, Taylor tries to stop him. Puck goes to the St. Catharines blue line, where Andrew Derrigo has it. Derrigo now behind his own goal. We've got 105 left to play here in the first period. Derrigo holding it behind the goal, they're trying to get organized. And with one minute to go, he passes it off, it goes out the center where Luke Karam has it. Karam trying to chip it to Mello. Mello misses it. Now Mello has it over the blue line. Mello down, down deep in the Brantford end. He turns in the corner now where it's taken over by Quilty. He shoots it out the center and Jimmy Sheehan fires it right back in on goal. St. Catharines clears his own, works her way back in again. Behind the goal, it looks like Blunt has it. Blunt over to Princeton, he shoots the puck, it goes all the way down the ice and we'll have a face-off deep in the Brantford zone with 26 seconds left to play here in the first period. Game six of the Southern the Cup round robin. Brantford Golden Eagles lead the St. Catharines Falcons by a score of two to nothing. The free standard game plus 100 people. You're lucky number two, six, two, Curtis Longland from the face-off gets back to Ben Dubois, shoots, save. Dubois. And they'll do it all over again one more time with 23.4 seconds remaining on the clock. Longland, Dubois, and Hovanesian up front for St. Catharines. Sheehan and Derrigo on the point from the draw. Longland chips it into the corner. Fighting for his Wilson. He gets it around the far side. It's fired out. Quilty chips it into the St. Catharines zone. Jimmy Sheehan back there for it. Sheehan puts it off the boards. And Mike Hawk has it now. Hawk at his own blue line. The Bellucci and Quilty chips it out. Hawk tried to take it in. And at the end of the first period of play, the score, the Bradford goal that he gets to, the St. Catharines Falcons, no score. Shots on goal in that first period by Bradford seven, by St. Catharines seven.
This is Richard Vanderhaeg for the Greater Ontario Junior Hockey League and Art Pro Aiken saying we'll see you at the start of the second period. Good. Game six, Southern Cup round robin. The Bradford Golden Eagles lead the St. Catherine's Falcons by a score of two to nothing. Chases it in behind there where Durazio fires it up along the boards. It's chipped back in by Luke Karam. Karam to Mello. Mello down to Johnson Andrews. He has it behind the net. Andrews. They fight for it. Now Karam comes up with it. Back to the point to Darigo. Darigo shoots. Saved by Durazio. Now they fight for it along the boards. Johnson Andrews takes it once again behind the net where Princeton takes over. He just fires it up along the boards. Andrews holds it in. Andrews falls down. And it goes out to Hawk. Hawk takes it up, he's over the blue line, waiting for some teammates to join him, and he fires it in deep. And now Wilson fires it back behind the St. Catharines goal. The puck comes up in front, oh! Glorious chance there for Mike Rebry. They fight for it now in the corner to the left of Brad Pope. Rutland fires it in on goal, and we'll have a face-off in the St. Catharines zone. We played just over a minute here in the second period. Make sure you get your tickets for tonight's 50-50 Ben Dubois and Mike Reverie face it off just to the left of Brad Pope. And Dubois wins the face off. He chips it forward, but it's brought back in again. Now McEachern has it behind his own goal. He backhands it around to Curtis Longland. And has taken over now. Gallucci has it. Gallucci over center. Cheats it into St. Catharines in. Oh! Andrew Wilson just came flying in and hit Curtis Longland. He blindsided him. Longland looks like he's down. He's hurt. Now, depending on what the referee calls him, Wilson's making his way to the dressing room. It looks like he's gone. In the first period, Tyler Norrie got a two-minute check-in from behind penalty. He's gone for the game, and now Andrew Wilson heads off to the dressing room. You've got to be concerned about Curtis Longlin, though. He never saw that hit coming. He's being helped to his feet. Longla would be a major loss to the St. Catharines Falls as he's been a steady player all year. He's back on his feet, and the good news is he's going off on his own steam. So at 129 of the second period, the St. Catharines Falcons have a chance to get back in the game here as they'll go on the power play. And it's a five-minute penalty to Andrew Wilson. What a glorious chance for the Falcons to get right back into this game. They'll have a five-minute power play. Hopefully, Curtis Longland will be okay. Now we're waiting to see who Bradford's going to send in. And it looks like Rutland will serve the five minutes. So Tanner Rutland goes to the box to serve the five minutes for Andrew Wilson. On the power play now, you got Ben Dubois, Andy Sturtz. 
From the face off now, Swift fires it all the way down into the St. Catherine zone where Pope has it there. Pope tips it in the corner, Andy Sturts takes over. Sturts now, pass, they pass it back and forth, goes up to the blue line where Jimmy Sheehan has it. Sheehan at the top of the circle, Sheehan puts on the brake, shoots! And the save by Grazio. Now, Hovadishian hits his man. Back to the point of Jack Andrews. Andrews now back down low to Ben Dubois. Ben Dubois has it in the slot. He goes back to the point of Jimmy Sheehan. Sheehan to Sturz. Sturz has it on the top of the circle. He works his way back. Sturz, cross ice to Johnson Andrews. Andrews works. He slides it in and the puck is chipped up into the stands. We'll have a face off in the Brantford zone. 4 14 remaining in the penalty. Set. We've got 17.45 left to go here in the second period of play. Face off to the left of Durazio. From the face off now, it's chipped back to the point. Fired in on goal by Taylor. Goalie makes the save. Again, Jacob Chuck slides it back to Taylor at the point. He loses it. Going in on goal, Lazarus. What a glorious chance that would have been. Now here comes Mello. Mello over the blue line, works it into the corner, sends it behind the, behind the net, they fight for it. Fired in along the boards where McKechnie has it at the point. McKechnie now, he slides it back to Johnson and or Mello. Mello back to McKechnie, he puts it down low for Luke Karam. Karam fighting for it with Gallucci. Gallucci over to Mello. Back to McKechnie at the point. McKechnie into the slot, over to Mello. Mello, cross ice pass, shot, save. Yeah. Aaron Taylor has it down. Taylor behind the net with it. He tries to shoot it up front where Mello takes over. Mello, back to McKechnie. McKechnie shoots, saved by Grazio. And it looks like we're gonna have a penalty. We got a high sticking penalty to Luke Carroll. Karam's going off for high sticking. So for the moment, that will nullify the St. Catherine's power play. At 3.25, Luke Karam goes off for high sticking. The Kings will play four aside for two minutes. Face off in the St. Catherine zone. They have it behind the net now. Up there, Sturz. Sturz has it in. Sturz over center. And he's rubbed out by Hawk. Hawk takes his man out. Now Ferris had it. He lost it. Oh! What a glorious chance to score. Walker now. Walker to Quilty. Quilty behind his own goal. Quilty working his way out. He gets, he's across center. Over the blue line, Kobe stops at the top of the circle, back to Hawk. Hawk has it in the slot, he shoots! Pope the save and Pope will hang on. We'll have a face-off to the right of the St. Catharines goalie. Here is the for goalie games. Shoe remember number 2700. That's 2700. Face-off deep in the St. Catharines zone, just to the right of the goaltender, Brad Pope. Lazarus chips it in behind the net, where Derrigo takes over. He fires it along the boards. Gallucci chips it back in again. They fight for it. It looks like Ben Dubois now. Dubois has it, circles, passes it back. Dubois to Sheehan. Sheehan crosses the blue line. Sheehan up to Johnson Andrews. Andrews puts it in deep. It goes back behind the goal where they fight for it. And Gallucci has it. He loses it to Andrews. Andrews circles now. Dubois back to the point. Over to Sheehan. Sheehan shoots, save. Another shot. There's two saves. Sheehan fired it in, Dubois got the rebound. And coming up big one more time, goaltender's talent, Durazio, making the best of his opportunity here tonight in game six of the Southern Cup Round Robin. This game being brought to you by the Greater Ontario Junior Hockey League and Art Pro HD. From the face off now, Dubois gets it back to Garrigo. He fires it in around the boards. Goes in behind the goal where Prinson takes it. Now Gallucci backhands it up to Swift. Swift to Reverie, Reverie has it now, Reverie fires it in. 
Pope steers it to the corner where Darnold takes over. He fires it behind the net, and Jimmy Sheehan has it. Sheehan now. He fires it back to the other side. Swift steals it out to Rebery. Oh! Great chance there for Mike Rebery. They fight for it along the boards now. It comes out, and Rebery has it in the corner. He's hit by Derrigo. And now Dubois. Dubois fires it over to Andrews. Andrews comes in over the blue line. Puts on the brakes, then fires it in deep to Ben Dubois. De ben, ben Dubois has it now. Works his way behind the net. Dubois out front. Oh, Andrews just missed that one. McEachern now. Over to the point. Broderick. He fires it in deep to Andy Sturt. Sturt, it goes back to the point. St. Catherine's on the power play now for another 40 seconds. Johnson Andrews has it down low. Blunt gets it, but only out to the blue line. McEachern now from the point. McEachern shoots. And right in front of Durazio, Andy Sturt's trying to tip it in. And we'll have a face-off in the Bradford zone. 34 seconds remaining in the five-minute penalty to Andrew Wilson. Curtis Longland, who was the victim of the play, is out there now. He takes the face-off, and it goes all the way down into the St. Catherine zone. Chipped down there by Nate Mitten. McKeckard has it now behind his own goal. McKeckard leaves it there now. It goes back to the point where Mitten fires one in. It's steered to the corner by Pope. In around back now. Curtis Longland fighting for it. With Mitten. Mitten and Brown. Brown chips it into the corner where McKeckard takes it. He chips it out to Longland. Curtis Longland now off the boards. And now coming in with it to the top of the circle. Longland shoots. It's steered wide. Sturts fighting for it. And Longland behind. Sturts comes out, tries to wrap around. He's flattened. Longland now shoots it, goes wide. Sturts gets it out in front. Oh, it's kicked into the corner. And now Bradford will clear the zone. Coming out is Tanner Rutland. Rutland fires it in, goes off a stick wide. Sturts now chips it out. Oh, and he's hammered. Big hit along the boards by Nathan Ferris on Andy Sturts. Now Walker comes in, he fires it wide. Aaron Taylor just chips it up to Miller, who fires it out the center where Appio takes over. Appio fires it deep into the St. Catherine zone, where Pope will leave it there. And we've got a whistle on the play. Well, the, I'm not sure what's happened, but the referees are over at the Brantford penalty the box area. Please attend there may, the there box. may be a problem with the door to the penalty box on the visitor's side. So with 12.33 remaining here in the second period, the score of the Brantford Golden Eagles 2, the St. Catharines Falcons, no score, and we'll have a stoppage in play while we get an arena attendant down there to fix that door. This is Richard Vanderhake for the Greater Ontario Junior Hockey League and Art Pro HD. We'll be right back. Such a lengthy delay. We'll have a face up down to the right of Brad Pope. St. Catherine's goalie is chipped back behind the net where Brad Cole has it. Cole gets it up to Spencer to Wolf. The Wolf carries it out over the blue line. He crosses center and fires it deep into the back of Joe where Prinzen takes over. Prinzen loses to Jesse Miller. Miller up front to the Wolf and he just misses the shot. 
They fight for it in back. The Wolf in prison now wrap around attempt. Garazio makes the save and Appio has it. Appio, they chip it into the St. Catherine zone where Cody Quick gets it. It's held in by Rutland. Rutland ties it go. He's into the slot. Rutland shoots. Hope the save. Appio looking for the rebound. He missed it, but now we have Rutland again. Rutland loses it. Pucks chipped it into the Bradford zone. Aaron Taylor going after it. And now Gallucci fires it out to center, where it's taken by Swift. Swift fires, and Brad Polk will hang on. We'll have a face off in the St. Catherine zone with 11.45 left to go here in the second period of play. The score, the Bradford Golden Eagles 2. St. Catherine's Falcons, no score. You gotta think St. Catherine's has to be looking to do something. They need to get a little bit of life. Otherwise, they'll be doing a sudden death game with the London Nationals to see who plays these Bradford Golden Eagles. The face off, Appio face it off in the St. Catherine zone. It looks like the goaltender needed a little more water, so with a brief delay, we'll get started one more time. Williams puts the water bottle in behind Brad Pope. And here we go. Appio chips it in deep, but the puck is shot out. He goes all the way down. And I didn't notice, but St. Catharines will have to kill off a penalty before they can do anything. Aaron Taylor has taken a two-minute charging penalty. Now the puck deep into the... Oh, it's deflected into the corner. They fight for Sheehan, fighting for it in there with Rebry. There's Kulti. Kulti has it now. Kulti works his way around to the top of the circle, puts on the brakes, does a circle, slides it over to Walker. Walker down to Swift. Swift has it, shoots. Saved by Pope. Puck's chipped out, but held in again by Swift. Swift one more time. He gets it over to Walker, but Walker holds it in at the blue line to Quilty. Quilty has it now. He works his way and is chipped out. Nick Hovindesian managed to knock the puck down into the Bradford zone. Walker takes over there. Oh! Uh, Walker and Ben DeBlois collide. DeBlois seemed to be the, more the worst for wear on that one. Shot in on goal. Pope makes the save, and he'll hang on with 58 seconds left to go in the penalty to Aaron Taylor, the face-off beat to the right of Brad Pope in the St. Catherine zone. From the face-off now, Mike Rebery and Dubois. Dubois wins it, draws it back, and it's fired out over the blue line where Blunt has it. Blunt circles at center ice. Blunt, he's fighting in there along the boards with Kyle Woodhouse. They chip it back and Rebery has it now. Rebery, Mike Rebery winding up. Gets it in to Rutland over the blue line. Now Mitten fires it in. In behind the St. Catharines goal. Puts over on the far side. Rutland, back to Rebery. Rebery has it now. Rebery cross ice to Lazarus. Lazarus back at the blue line, dumps it into the corner. Rutland misses it, and it's fired all the way down the ice. With 10 seconds left to go in the penalty, Brad Cole fires it in behind the Bradford goal. Blunt now. Blunt starting out in his own end. Up to Brown, penalty is over. Taylor's out of the box. Now Mitch Brown has it. Brown, back to Ferris. Oh, he fires it in, steered wide. Now Quig behind the... Quig down low, fires it in behind the net. Armstrong has it there. Armstrong and Luke Karam fighting for it along the boards. Coming out with it is Karam. And Quig takes over at center ice. Quig up to Brown. Brown backhands it into the St. Catherine zone. Pope leaves it there for McEachern. McEachern fires it down around the boards to Riley Jacobs. Chuck Jacobs Chuck fighting for it there with Armstrong. And now Quig. It goes back to the point and it goes out into the center ice area where Nathan Ferris has it. Ferris now. Oh, it's intercepted. And Luke Karam had a glorious chance only to have the puck hop off his stick. St. Catherine's bring it in again one more time. And Ferris has it around behind his own net. Ferris up to Hawk. Hawk out there with Quilty and Swift. Shot into the St. Catherine zone, and Brad Pope will hang on to it with Hawk just waiting there. With 8.34 left to go here in the second period, the score, Cranford 2, St. Catherine's nothing. 
located at 670. This game being brought to you by the Greater Ontario Junior Hockey League at Art Pro HD. From the faceoff down to Jack Gallucci, he can't hold it in, and Prinzen takes over now for Bradford. Prinzen fires it into the St. Catherine zone. He takes a hit. And now, there we go, there we go. Up to Woodhouse. Woodhouse, he's flattened as he crosses the blue line. Sturch chases it in behind the goal, where Gallucci has it. Sturch now, Sturch in back, coming out front. Sturch has it, he's at the top of the circle. He goes around back, puts it in behind the net. To Woodhouse, Woodhouse now, back to the point to Sheehan. Sheehan fires it in deep. And Quilty puts it out. Puck comes out to Woodhouse, shoots, oh! Puck was just wide. But Kovanishian couldn't get his stick on it, and now Hawk has it. Hawk crosses the blue line. He gets it up to Quilty. Quilty, they work it in, and Hovanishian has it now. Hovanishian, cross ice pass. Andy Sturz trying to get around Blunt, but to no avail. Bradford break it up. The puck's tipped back into their zone, where Walker has it now. Walker puts it off the boards up, and Appio, Appio over center, fires it down deep into the St. Catherine zone. Let's take it over, and Ben Dubois just chips it deep into the Brentford zone. Curtis Longland now. Longland over to Dubois. And now Walker clears the zone. Puck in the center ice area. Appio, he loses it to Johnson Andrews. Andrews trying to work it down low. Andrews still with it over to Curtis Longland. Longland now with it in the corner. Round back and behind the net to Johnson Andrews. He fires it in the center, and it's taken over there by Rutland, Tanner Rutland over the blue line. Rutland tries to center it for Appio, he misses the pass. And it goes all the way out in the center right center, we're gonna race for it. Johnson Andrews trying to get a hold. Over to Curtis Longland, shoots! And what a save, big save by Garazio. Talon Garazio got that goal by the end. And robs Curtis Longland with 6.38 to go here in the second period. Face off now to the right of Garazio. Quilty, he wins the draw, gets it back to Gallucci. Gallucci behind his own net, gets it out. Oh, a big hit, Aaron Taylor. Fighting for it now, Spencer the Wolf, he falls. Jesse Miller takes his bat into the boards, and we got a penalty coming. We have a penalty coming to the Brantford Golden Eagles with 6.19 remaining here in the second period. St. Catharines, once again, will go on the power play. A chance to get back into the game as number 13, Gallucci, goes off. He gets two minutes for interference. On the power play now, Matt Mello is out there with Riley Jacobs, Chuck, and Kyle Woodhouse from the draw. Brown ties it up, but McKechn has it back at the point. McKechn now. He slides it across the boards, back to the slot to McKechn. He loses it now. Fitz Brown chips away at it and gets it down into the St. Catherine zone. McKechn better be aware. Fitz Brown, he can motor. Now St. Catherine's comes out. McKechn, McKechn fires it deep in around the corner to Riley Jacob Chuck. Jacob Chuck has it to the point to Kelly. Karam behind the net now. Luke Karam, he leaves it there for Mello. Mello comes up along, back to the point. And Kelly, he shoots it in. And Garazio will hang on. We'll have another face off in the St. Catherine's zone. We've got 119 left to go. It's a penalty to Gallucci. Now we've got number 2419. That's 2419. Ben with Curtis Longland and Andy Sturtz. Johnson Andrews and Jimmy Sheehan on the point. Sheehan has it now. Sheehan down low to Longland. Longland back to Sheehan. Back to Dubois. Shoots. Goes off the boards. Puck's tipped off the boards and coming out with it now is Mike Reverie. Reverie, he can motor. He gets across the blue line where he loses it to Jimmy Sheehan. Sheehan now chips it back to Johnson Andrews. Reverie chases him back there. Now Sheehan has it. Sheehan in the corner. Cross ice pass, and it's in the skates of Curtis Longland. He couldn't get a handle on it, and St. Catharines will have to regroup. 42 seconds left to go in the penalty, and Jimmy Sheehan now crosses center, crosses the blue line, 
see it all the way in. He goes behind, centers it out front, and Ben Dubois just failed to connect. Johnson Andrews now couldn't keep it in. Ben Dubois loses it. And we've got an offside. Walker was just over the blue line. As Mike Reverie tried to bring it in. With 25 seconds left to go in the penalty, 444 left to go here in the second period. The score, Bradford Golden Eagles 2, St. Catharines Falcons, no score. Face off now just outside the St. Catharines zone. DeBlois draws it back, but has it taken now by Quilty. Quilty working it down low. He just shovels it into the corner when McKechn takes over. McKechn puts on the brakes. He circles. McKechn now coming out with it. He goes back one more time. Cross ice pass over to Broderick Kelly. Kelly now. St. Catharines up over center. Coming in with it now is Curtis Longland. Longland now back to the point to McKechn. McKechn chips it into the slot area. Well now Gallucci has it. Gallucci over to Hawk. Hawk back to Gallucci. Gallucci works and shoots. Brad poked the save and he'll hang on for a face off in the St. Catharines zone. We've played 15-55 in the second period. So far, we haven't had any scoring here in the second. Bradford scored both their goals in the first period of play. The shots on goal by the Bradford Golden Eagles, 16. By the St. Catharines Falcons, 18. Face off just to the left of Brad Pope. From the draw now, Appio has it. He just chips it down in behind the St. Catharines goal where Brad Cole takes over. Cole now coming out with it. Cole. He almost lost it, but now Kyle Woodhouse has it. Woodhouse over the blue line. Woodhouse to the top of the circle. Works it on goal, and he's hit. Falls behind the net where Appio chips it up to Mike Remery. Remery now on a backhand pass to Walker. Walker, a nifty little pass over to Rutland. Rutland has it. He takes it in deep, and he's knocked off the puck by Brad Cole. Coming out with it now. Nick Hovindian has it down deep in the Bradford end. Him and Andy still fighting for it, but it's fired around the boards. It goes all the way back to the point to Cody Quick. Quick in the Sturz, Sturz tries a wraparound, comes out in front, and DeRazio makes the save. Puck fired up off the boards, back to the blue line, held in by St. Catharines, Cody Quick. Quick loses it now, and here we've got Rutland. Rutland shoots, save. He got, it, got his own rebound, two saves by Pope. And coming out with it, Matt Mello has it now, but he'll circle back into his own zone and get organized. Mello off the boards. He gets it up to Luke Carum. Jacob Chuck hits his man, now Hawk has it. Hawk chips it into the St. Catherine zone. Quilty has it back to Hawk. What a move by Hawk, but he loses the handle just before he gets the shot off. Slammed in there along the boards. St. Catherine gets it out. Luke Carum fires it down to the blue line where Swift takes over. Swift up to Quilty. Quilty crosses the blue line, tries to get by Cody Quick, he does. Into the slot now, Swift, oh, fires it over top of the net. Cody Quick now, behind his own goal. He leaves it there for Matt Mello. Mello coming out with it. Mello into the center right area to Riley Jacobs, Chuck to Luke Carum. He loses it, and now Quilty has it. Quilty over the blue line, he's got Hawk with him, but he circles. Puck comes out at Riley Jacobs, Chuck. Hawk now. Hawk shoots, poke the save. And it's frozen on the side of the goal. We'll have a face off now with 152 remaining here in the second period of play. Brantford two, St. Catharines no score. Mitch Brown facing off with Johnson Andrews and he chips it forward into the corner. Fighting for Jimmy Sheehan in the corner. Gets it in back, he gets up to Johnson Andrews. Andrews now cross ice to Ben Dubois. Dubois over center into the Bradford zone. He fires one in the goal. DeRazio makes the save and Mitch Brown takes over. And we've got a penalty coming up. It looks like we're going to have a tripping call on defenseman Matt Prinson of the Bradford Golden Eagles. Prinson will go off with 140 left to go. The St. Andrews Falcons will go back on the power play. What a huge opportunity this is for the Falcons to get back into this game. 134 remaining in the second. They'll have the man advantage. Ben Dubois and Mitch Brown in the face-off circle. 
on the face off, the ball wins the draw, but it goes all the way over. The last rest requires it down in the St. Catherine zone. Pope has it there, he leaves it there for Kelly. And they bring it out. Ben Dubois has it now. Dubois takes it deep into the zone. Goes in behind the goal, comes up front, shoots! Saved by Garazio. Second shot goes wide, goes back to the point. Kelly now. Dubois loses it, it goes under the center ice area. Roderick Kelly fires it into the zone. Back to the point of Kelly. Kelly over to Long Run, Long Run nifty little move. Then a little move, shoots, oh! And Garazio managed to get his paddle. Kelly at the point. Fired. Another save by Garazio. Callum Garazio so far has been unbeatable in goal for the Bradford Golden Eagles. Cut down into the slot now. It looks like Longland. Longland tried to get it back to Anders in the slot. He loses it and fired all the way back into the zone with less than 30 seconds to play. Roderick Kelly now, he circles behind his own goal, comes out with it. Kelly up over the blue line, crosses center. Kelly still with it, gets in backhand shot on goal. Garazio steers it off into the corner where Andy Sturts takes over. Sturts has it, he shoots it. Oh, the rebound goes wide. Back to, to the point to Kelly, Kelly shoots. It goes off Ferris in front. There's a score! The St. Patrick Falcons with three points for a Start of the third period. second period to cut the lead in half. It's now 2-1 Brantford, and Andy Sturts works it in behind the net. Crimson has it down, he falls on it. And we'll have a face-off deep in the Brantford zone. We played just 19 seconds of the third period of play. From the face-off now. They fight for it in along the boards. Kyle Woodhouse has it. Woodhouse tries to get it back to the point where it's taken there by Hawk, and he loses it. Jimmy Sheehan up to Woodhouse. Woodhouse fires it in behind the goal. Andy Sturtz, who scored the St. Catharines goal on the power play in that second period, has it, and now it goes all the way back to Andrew Garrigo. Garrigo, he slides it over to Jimmy Sheehan, and he slides it back. In behind the goal now, Hawk chases. There we go off the board, Sturts misses it, and it goes all the way to Walker. Walker over to Blunt. Blunt chips it in from center, deep into the St. Catherine zone, where it's taken over by Andrew Derrigo. Derrigo now over to Jimmy Sheehan. Sheehan, he slides it up. It goes off a skate, and Johnson Andrews misses it. Brett Appio now has it. Appio flying in over the blue line, shoots, and it goes off Derrigo's leg. 
I mean, Appio tried to wrap around, but he lost the handle on it just as he went around the corner. Johnson Andrews now tries a cross ice pass. That was picked off, and here comes Walker now. Walker works his way up to the blue line, then turns around, goes back. He slides it up to Brett Appio. Appio fires it in. And it goes to Cody Quick. Quick. He slides it over to Brad Cole. Cole shoots it up, and it goes into the Brantford zone where Walker takes over. Walker now works his way up over center. Walker over the blue line. Nifty little move, back pass there, and Rutland, Rutland shoots! And Brad Polk the save. What a nice little rush there. We'll have a face off to the right of the St. Catharines goalie. Now both teams making changes now. Mitch Brown comes out. And he's got Lazarus. Dan Mitten with him. And we'll do it all over one more time. Face off in the St. Catherine zone to the right of goalie Brad Pope. We played 158 of this third period. From the draw now, puck goes back. Luke Karam has it now. He shovels it back to the defense. And it's taken there by Cody Quick. Quick fires it up to Luke Karam. Karam slammed in on the boards by Blunt. Matt Mello chases him at Prince and puts it on the boards. Riley Jacobs check. Oh, and Jacobs check is just thrilled in there. What a big hit by Matt Prinzen. Now Brad Cole backhands it in. Matt Mello over along the boards, fighting with it with Mitch Brown. And Blunt comes out with it. He slides it across. Coming in on goal, Mitten fires. Goes all the way back to the blue line where Lazarus fires it down deep. Brad Cole fighting for it. And Mitten has it in behind the goal. Mitten, he hands on to it, circles back one more time, gets over to Lazarus. Lazarus behind the goal to Mitten. He chips it up. Brown has it now. Brown back to Lazarus behind the goal. He slides it up front. Another shot by Brown. Puck goes back to the point to Gallucci. Gallucci now, he shoots it and goes wide of the goal. And Luke Karam takes over for the Falcons. Karam now, up over center. He fires it in. And the goalie seemed to lose it in his equipment. So he hangs on. We'll have a faceoff deep in the Bradford zone. With 16.50 left to go here in the third period, the score of Bradford Golden Eagles 2, St. Catharines Falcons 1. Jesse Miller now, from the draw, Crookie wins it. He's tangled up in the skates, he goes in behind the network. It's taken over by Walker. He fires it around the boards. Spencer DeWolf has it now, DeWolf, he loses it. And it comes back out into the neutral zone area where Crookie has it, Matt Crookie, he loses it. And coming up, Spencer DeWolf now. DeWolf, he crosses the blue line, backhand shot, and DeRazio will hang on to it. We'll have a face off in the Brantford zone. Three forty-seven gone here in the third period. The Falcons trail the Golden Eagles by a goal. Brantford. Already in the Sutherland Cup final, St. Catharines trying to get there. From the faceoff now goes back behind the goal, and Kyle Woodhouse tries to get the home in. It's broken up, and Rutland has it now. Rutland chips it over to Appio. Appio off the board, trying to hit Mike Rebery with it. Back to Appio, and it's fired back to the point one more time. Blunt has it. He fires it on goal, and Brad Pope steers it to the corner. Sturts now gets it over to Kelly. Kelly crossed the blue line. Oh, he ran into his own man. Kelly ran right into Nick Hobanishian, and the play is broken up and chipped back into the St. Catherine zone. Kelly has it now. Kelly gets it up to Kyle Woodhouse. Woodhouse now brings it over. Andy Sturts and is chipped into the stands. And we'll have a face off just outside the Bradford blue line. Both teams taking the opportunity to make changes. Brown, Lazarus, and Mitten up front for Brantford. Andrews, Longland, and Dubois for St. Catharines. Andrews has it now behind the St. Cat or the Brantford net. 
They fight for it in there. And Ferris, he loses it, but now coming out with it. Walker, Walker over the blue line, shoots. And Pope kicks out the pad. Ben Dubois now, he misses Curtis Longland on a cross-ice pass. It goes all the way down to the Brantford zone. And we'll have an icing call against the Falcons with 15-11 left to play here in the third period. Cookie, Hawkins, swept up front for the Bradford Golden Eagles. They win the draw, it goes back to Walker at the point. Walker fires it in behind the goal where Quilty chases after it. He has it in the corner, comes back to the blue line to Gallucci. He fires it in, goes off the leg, and into the slot. Now taking over is Wallen. They get it up. Dubois fires it in on goal, chipped in in the corner. And now Swift has it. Jeff Swift up to Quilty. Quilty over the blue line. And it's fired all the way back down into the Bradford zone. We'll have another icing against the Falcons with 14.42 remaining here in the third period. Shots on goal so far by Bradford, 23. By St. Catharines, 25. From the faceoff now, Lazarus wins it. He gets it back to Blunt at the point. Up, oh, fires it out. And Johnson Andrews has it. He gets it over to Curtis Longland. Longland over the goal and shoots. And Durazio makes the save, and he'll hang on. We'll have a face off in the ground for two. Neither goalie will take any chances here in the third period. Only one goal separates the two teams. From the face off now, Lazarus chips it back to Princeton. Matt Princeton fires it out into the St. Catherine zone. Now Matt Mello has it. Mello loses it. He gives it away to Lazarus. Lazarus over to Mitten. Mitten shoots. It goes off the leg. And it gets the board down from the point. It's fired. It goes up off the glass. And Mitten has it. He puts it behind the goal. Where Mitch Brown chases it. St. Catharines will come out now. Puck's chipped over to Riley Jacobs. Chuck, he loses it. Princeton takes over. He gets it over the blue line. Tries hit Appio with it. Jacob Chuck loses it again. And now. We've got Luke Karam. He stopped at the blue line. Mitch Brown takes it, fires it deep into the St. Catherine zone. Pope behind his own net, fires it off the boards. It comes up to the blue line. Spencer DeWolf, he has it, he gets it in deep, chases it into the corner. Where Nathan Ferris has it. Ferris over to Walker, back to the point to McKechnie. McKechnie has it, he shoots. And DeRazio finds that through a crowd. He'll hang on. We'll have a face-off to the right of the Bradford goalie with 13.25 left to go here in the third period of play. Ferris comes off now and Blunt goes on on defense for the Golden Eagles. Pucks behind the Bradford zone and Blunt has it. He puts it up on the boards to Appio. Appio up the center to Rutland. Rutland over to Mike Rubbery. Rubbery back to Rutland. Rutland takes it in deep. They fight for it in the corner now with Kelly. Miller fighting for it in there with Rebery. In behind the goal, Rebery goes down. And now Kelly has it up to the wolf. And it's held in by Blunt. It goes back into the St. Patrick's corner. There's a race for it now. Rebery back to Rutland. Miller falls down. He slides it in back to the wolf. The wolf to Aaron Taylor. Taylor to Jesse Miller. And Miller just dumps it up the center. It goes off the leg. And we're going to have a penalty here. The Brantford. Now Jesse Miller is down on the ice. He's back up. And just like that, the St. Catharines Falcons will have a chance to tie it up as they go on the power play at 7:17 of the third period. Catherine's 
So Rebri goes off for a head check. And now it's Gallucci going in to serve the, the penalty. So Rebri goes off, so he'll basically be guy that won't be eligible to come back if St. Catherine doesn't score with there'll be 43 seconds left on the clock. From the faceoff now, Lovelin comes out. He shoots it on goal and Garazio makes the save. Well, that ate up nine seconds of the power play. We'll have another face off to the right of Callum Garazio. Longland, Dubois. From the face off, Dubois gets it back to Sheehan. Sheehan cross ice pass over to Kelly. Kelly gets it back to Johnson Andrews who fires it in on goal and Garazio makes another save. <laughs> Andrews, Dubois, Longman. Lazarus at the face-off circle for the Bradford Golden Eagles. Walker and Prinson on defense for Bradford. From the face-off now, it goes back to the point to Kelly. He chips it into Andrews. Andrews has it now, he back. Puts it into the slot and it goes all the way back out to center ice where Jimmy Sheehan will take the puck and regroup for St. Catharines. Sheehan up to Curtis Longlin. Longlin fires it in deep in behind the Bradford goal. Garazio fires it around the boards. It goes back to the point where Sheehan can't hold it in. And now Kelly has it. Roderick Kelly. He has it. Goes behind his own net. Coming up with it now. Cross ice pass over to Curtis Longlin. Longlin up to Johnson Andrews. Andrews with it now and he loses it. Jeff Swift manages to chip it back out into the neutral area where Kelly takes over. Kelly up the middle to Ben Dubois. Dubois has it now. He puts it back to the point to Kelly. Kelly in deep to Andrews. Andrews shoots. Saved by Garazio. Walker now misplays it, but he gets it all the way down into St. Catherine's goal. We've got 45 seconds left to go here in the power play. 11.25 to go in the third period. Jimmy Sheehan in back of his own goal. Sheehan coming out with it now. Sheehan up to Luke Karam. Karam over to Melo. Melo shoots. Razio to save. And it, once again, the puck is fired all the way down into the St. Catherine zone. 24 seconds left now. Sheehan coming out with it. Sheehan slides it up. Danny Sturtz. Sturtz has it now. Sturtz it on goal. What a move. Oh, what a great move. And an even better save by Razio. The puck is loose in front. They fight for it. Melo now. Melo along the board. Luke Karam. Karam has it. Back to Mello. They work it along the boards, back to the point of Jimmy Sheehan. Sheehan into Carroll. Luke Carroll over and shoots. Oh, what a save! And he starts has it now. Starts behind the goal. Starts with it. The penalty is expired. Starts still has it. Back has it down, and now Kogi has it for the Brad for Golden Eagles. Kogi comes over the blue line. Works his way into the slot area where it's taken out of him. Fired up over the center. And he starts going after it, and Garazio fires it out all the way down into St. Catherine's zone. Heading off to the, and he starts is heading off to the St. Catherine's bench, and he looks like he's in quite a bit of discomfort. He had a great shift on the power play, but to no avail. The score is still Bradford 2, St. Catherine's 1 with 9.59 to go here in the third period of play. Face off will go all the way down into Bradford zone. From the face off now, they fight for it. Hovindian, he misses it. Go back to the point. Cole, Cole shoots, and Garazio the save. Shots on goal so far by Brantford, 24 by St. Catharines, 34. But the shots that count, Brantford two, St. Catharines one. Well, Bradford has called a timeout with 9.51 to go here in the third period of play.
This game being brought to you by the Greater Ontario Junior Hockey League and Art Pro HD. The timeout is over. The players head back to the faceoff circle. This faceoff will be just to the right of Bradford goalie Talon Garazio, who's had an outstanding game thus far, making the best of his first opportunity in the Sutherland Cup round robin. Kyle Woodhouse and Mitch Brown in the face-off circle, and Brown manages to kick it back to Crimson. Crimson fires it along the boards, but Woodhouse takes over. Woodhouse fires it in back of the goal. Going after it now is Hovanishian. Hovanishian over to Riley Jacobchuk. Jacobchuk has it behind the goal. He gets it over to the corner where Mitten takes over. Mitten's rubbed out by Kyle Woodhouse. And Cole fires it in deep. Woodhouse now back in behind the goal to Jacobchuk. Riley Jacobchuk in back there fighting with Mitch Brown. Jacob Chuck tries to come out with it. And the puck goes all the way around to the top of the circle. Chip back in again. Hovanishian hits Mitten. Brown has the puck and he falls. And it looks like we're going to have a penalty in the same half as Falcons. And with 9.02 remaining, the St. Catharines Falcons. It looks like Nick Hovanishian is going off. He gets two for tripping. So St. Catharines will have to kill off this penalty. The faceoff will be just to the left of the goaltender, Brad Polk. Quilty Hawkins swept up front for Brantford from the faceoff. Puck goes back to the point to Swift. Swift over to Walker, back to Swift in the slot. Swift over to Quilty. Quilty has it now back to Swift. Swift shoots. Pope to save. Back into the corner. Another shot on goal by Appio. Sheehan ties up his man in the corner. Appio back to the point. It goes to Swift. Swift over to Walker. Walker shoots and he just misses. Puck just goes wide. Back to Swift. Swift now. She shoots. Pope to save. Quilty now, he puts it back to the point and Swift isn't even able to hold it in. So now Swift has it at center. Swift back to Walker. Walker, he gets it up to Hawk. Hawk over to Appio. Appio back to Quilty, shoots just wide. Now Kyle Woodhouse misses a chance to clear it. Quilty, he gets it in the center to Swift. Swift over to Walker, back to Quilty. Quilty now gets it down low to Appio. Brett Appio back to Quilty. Quilty shoots. And the puck goes off a stick and into the netting. We'll have a face off for the left to Brad Polk. We've got 54 seconds left to go here in the second period, third period of play. The score, Bradford two, St. Catharines one. We played just over 12 minutes of the third. Shots on goal, Bradford 27, St. Catharines 24, but there's another shot on goal. Pope steers it off to the side. And the puck is chipped into the Brantford bench. We'll have another face off in the St. Catherine zone. With a number 15301. That's 15. Lazarus, Rutland, and Mitten up front for Brantford. Front and Princeton on the bench on this power play. And now the puck is fired all the way down the ice into the Brantford zone. With 42 seconds left to go here in the power play. And Matt Prinson has it in behind his own goal. He starts out, he slides it up to Blunt. Blunt takes the puck and just fires it in the St. Catherine zone. It goes all the way down for an icing. With 29 seconds left to go in the penalty. 7.31 to go in the third. We'll have a face off to the right of goalie Talon Garazio. Karam and Lazarus in the face-off circle from the face-off. Puck goes back to the blue line where it's fired back in again. And it goes in back of the goal where Prinson starts out. Prinson, he gets it up. cross ice pass now over to Lazarus. Lazarus comes in, shoots! It goes high and wide off the glass. And we'll have a face-off outside the blue line with 13 seconds left to go in the Brantford power play. Tonight's attendance, 995. From the faceoff now, Brown wins it. He gets it back to the point to Walker. Walker at the blue line. Walker trips it up 
to Quigg. Quigg has it at the top of the circle. They fight for it there. It chipped out and St. Catharines brings it out. And it's called on the offside. The penalty has expired. We've got exactly seven minutes left to go here in the third period of play. Bradford Golden Eagles hanging on to a 2-1 lead in this game six of the Sutherland Cup round robin. Johnson Andrews centering Ben DeGuan, Curtis Longland. From the faceoff, Red Apio takes it. He shoots, tips it into St. Catherine's own, fires it just wide. Puck goes all the way back to the blue line where it's chipped in by Walker. Walker fires it around back behind the net. They fight for it. Now Curtis Longland, Longland. And we've got another penalty coming. We've got a cross-checking penalty. And once again, St. Catherine's Falcons are going to find themselves down a man as McEachern goes off for cross-checking with 6.44 remaining. St. Catharines can ill afford to give up a power play goal at this stage of the game. From the face out now, Cookie chips into the corner where it's fired back down behind the Bradford goal. Garazio leaves it there for Walker. Walker now lines up on his own. Walker up to Koki. Koki's got Mitch with him back to the point to Walker. Walker a little backhand pass to Koki. Back to Walker. Over to Swift. Swift, top of the circle, shoots. And the puck is chipped up into the net. He will have another face off to the left of goaltender Brad Pope. 135 remaining in this power play. 619 in the period. The score, Brantford two, St. Catharines one. From the faceoff now, Mitten has it tied up in his skates and it's fired all the way down the ice where Durazio will hang on to it. He leaves it in the corner there for Walker. Walker now starting out. Walker over center. Now he crosses the blue line. Walker back to Hawk, Hawk over to Swift. Swift, little backhand over to Kilty. Kilty back to Walker, Walker down low to Hawk. Hawk back to Walker, now Walker shoots. Puck, puck centered, now goes back to the point where Walker gets it over to Kilty. Kilty in deep to Swift. Swift gets it down low to Hawk. Hawk back to Swift. Swift into the center right area to Kilty. Back over to Swift, he shoots. And Brad Pope. Made the save, loses the rebound, and Puck's fired all the way around, held it in the blue line now by Quilty. Quilty over to Swift, Swift chips it into Walker, he lets it go, back to Hawk. Ben DeBois starts out with it now, got it over the blue line where the play is broken up by Quilty. Quilty has it now, he works his way in the top of the circle, shoots, Pope the same. He looked around behind him, but he's got it with 20 seconds remaining in the power play. We'll have another face off to left of the St. Catherine's goalie. 5.04 remaining to play here in the third period of play. Brantford two, St. Catherine's one. Now we've got Apio, Lazarus and Rutland up front. Crimson and Blunt on defense. Puck goes back to Crimson. Crimson into Apio, he shoots. Puck goes wide, Cole fights with his man. It goes back to the point again, over to Crimson. Crimson back to Blunt. Blunt down low to Lazarus. Lazarus has it now in the corner, Cole chases him. Back to the point to Blunt, the penalty is now expired. Lazarus shoots, it goes wide, goes in back, and Cody Quick has it there, he loses it. It goes back to the point to Blunt, Blunt shoots. Another save by Brad Pope, and he starts, has it now. Up to Johnson Andrews. Andrews working on a goal, and he loses it. And Blunt knocks it off the stick. It goes in behind the goal to Kyle Woodhouse. Now Woodhouse has it. Woodhouse to Sturts. Sturts works for the top of the single. Shoots! And oh, what a beautiful save by Dorazio. And he'll hold on with 4.17 remaining here in the third period. From the circle now, Woodhouse chips it into the corner and goes, Walker gets around the boards to Quigg. He's slammed in and Aaron Taylor fires it back into the Bradford zone. 
Gallucci has it now over to Walker, up to Craig. Craig chips it back into the St. Catherine zone. And the kicker fires it off the boards. It goes all the way down to the Brantford zone. Aaron Taylor giving chase. And Brantford come up with it now. It's Mitch Brown. Brown has it. He shoots. Goes off the defense. And coming out with it now is Andy Sturts. Sturts over the blue line. He leaves it there for Kyle Woodhouse. Woodhouse works it into the corner. Woodhouse still going behind the net. Woodhouse still with it now. He turns around, get, chips it over to Sturts. Aaron Taylor now, to Sturts in the slot. And Taylor can't hold it in, McKechnie grabs it, he fires it back behind the rope, and they're changing. Coming out with it now, Gallucci. Gallucci gets it to center, it's broken up there by Dubois, and now Gallucci has it one more time. He crosses center, fires it into the St. Catherine zone where Darigo has it, Andrew Darigo, and it's stolen by Hawk. Hawk comes in, back to slip, shot over top of the net. Under three minutes remaining in the third period now. Blunt, he fires it in and just gets tipped wide of the goal. Back into the slot area, Hawk loses it, it goes out where Blunt takes it and he'll fire it right back in again. Andrew Garrigo watches it go by, it goes into the center ice area where Prinzen has it now. Prinzen carries it in, he's at the top of the circle, still with it. In behind the goal to Hawk. Hawk now looks it, he tries a shot on goal, it goes off a leg. And now Johnson Andrews. Andrews, he gets back, slipped on the far side. Slipped in, oh! They try and center and shoots! And it goes wide. The whistle goes. And the faceoff comes outside the Brantford blue line. 218 left to go. Mello, Jacob Chuck, and Luke Carroll up front. Yellow going Sheehan on the point for St. Catherine. Kofi, Lazarus, and Apio for Bradford. From the faceoff, Derrigo fires it in behind the goal. And Durazio, he tips it, comes right back in front and he'll just hang on. With 2.09 remaining, we'll have a faceoff deep in the Bradford zone. We'll have to keep an eye on St. Catherine's goalie, Brad Pope. St. Catherine's coach, Frank Gurney, has called his timeout with 2.09 remaining. If the score remains status quo at the end of the game, Bradford will sit back and watch London and St. Catherine's play to see who will face them in the Sutherland Cup final. Point to Sheehan. Sheehan. He puts it over to Luke Karam. Karam shoots. Another save by Garazio. We'll have another face off with 202 remaining. Bradford changes one more time. They send out Cookie, Swift, and Hawk. From the face off now, it goes along the boards. They fight for it, there goes back to the point to Sheehan. Sheehan shoots, it's tipped, and just goes wide. Held in by Kelly now, Kelly shoots, and it's tipped up and goes off the netting. We'll have another face off to the right of Talon DeRazio in the Bradford goal. 149 left remaining. Dubois now takes the face off, 
He wins it, he gets it back to Andrews. Andrews to Kelly, Kelly back to Andrews, shot. Goes wide, they fight for it in the corner now. Andrews comes up with it, he's fighting with Blunt. Blunt takes his man down, and Kelly holds it in at the point. And now the puck is chipped in the middle. And here comes Jeff Swift, Swift with it now. Over the hop, and the St. Catherine's net is empty. Luke Carum brings it in. The puck is fired all the way back into the St. Catherine zone. There's no icing. Roderick Kelly now behind his own goal. They get set. He leaves it there for Johnson Andrews. Andrews back to Kelly. Kelly now to get it up, break over the blue line. Johnson Andrews over the shoots. And it goes all the way up into the netting, and we'll have a faceoff. Faceoff comes all the way outside the blue line. Less than a minute left to go in the period. From the faceoff now, Sheehan. He has it, it's fired in deep. And now Andy Sturts has it. Sturts behind the goal, comes up front, he crashes the net. They chip away at it. Kelly dives down, he, he holds it in. Clinton takes it behind the net, stolen by Andrews. Andrews has it now. Back to the point to Sheehan. Sheehan shoots, another save. And Jimmy Sheehan has it with 26 seconds left to go. The puck's fired in, Andy Sturt chasing after him. Lazar. They fight for it now at the side of the net. The puck's fired all the way. Sheehan dives and he keeps it in. Puck's fired in the corner, it goes in back to Andy Sturtz, has it behind the goal, chips out front, and it's fired over top of the net. Nick Hovanesian now, Hovanesian in front, and the puck is in.